It had a perception of being a dangerous place to be. There were many pretty sleazy bars on Magnolia, a lot of empty boarded up buildings. The only thing positive that's happening on the street at the time was uh, uh, Paris Coffee Shop and BJ Kiefer's. And uh, come five o'clock, you got the hell out of Dodge. You just didn't come over to this part of town. A little bit of a scary time if you asked somebody to come down here and meet you and they would basically laugh at you in terms of why are you going down there. Several of us saw that there was a real potential here and would, the real frustration was nobody else seemed to understand it, especially the banks. But I'd always kept an eye on that old drugstore, Modern Drug. So I'd always kind of dreamed about that, that project and we, it, we happened to hit it at the right time. It was, it was interesting because it, it was a, five buildings that basically were separated that grew together over the years. And so just peeling that apart and seeing what it had and, uh, and what it could become was, uh, was a fun process. And that's when I got hooked on the, the historic preservation piece. The concept I'd always had was a mixed use. And it was always frustrating that that was adverse to current zoning issue at the time. Fernando Costa was the one that said, you know what, uh, we need to talk about a uh, mixed use zoning. And uh, he led the groups that uh, put that together. And it, it's now one of the model mixed use zoning ordinances in the country. People come here to study it. But it was a matter of staying true to the values of an urban village and not doing a McDonald's or fast food or uh, some of the other things and, and, and keeping it with mom and pop uh, organizations and restaurants and stores and businesses. Once you did these buildings, uh, people look at them and go, wow, that's something special. And they're more attracted to that than they are a brand new building. And, and like so many other things, when people can actually see something in place uh, versus hearing about it or trying to visualize what it's like, uh, they would come over to the modern village and, and see the apartments and see the outside deck and uh, the businesses downstairs and the bank and the drive through and the nice landscaping and all that goes with it and go, you know what, I like this. I love historic properties and how that building was redeveloped um, actually gave me the idea of buying the entire block next door and redeveloping it and basically branching out all the way down to Main Street and in different areas of Southside. It's hard to pick out exactly when the acceptance really happened. It's when a lot of people started realizing that this was a, an interesting, fun place to be. What I enjoy seeing is young couples, uh, young families, uh, and just seeing the energy and all the people and, and, and all that's going on and thinking, uh, we made it.